Hello, welcome to another episode in creating Terraria in Python. Today we're going to be covering block breaking and placing. So right off the bat, we have some new methods inside of our event handler class. One of them is clicked and one of them is clicked any. Both of these return a Boolean value. The clicked uh, checks if it is a left click or a right click. And the way that Python or Pygame differentiates between left and right click is via numbers. So one corresponds to left click and three corresponds to right click. So what we're doing is we're looping through the events, checking if we have a mouse button down event. And then if the button equals um, whichever one we want, which is by default the left click, then we will return return true, otherwise we'll return false. The clicked any is basically the same thing, but we don't check which uh, click it was, just any mouse event will return true. So let's go ahead and use this to get some block break breaking and placing. So I'm gonna create a new method. I'm gonna do def block handling, send itself. And then here, what we're going to do is we're just going to check um, if we have uh, clicked. So we'll do is we'll do if event handler dot clicked any, then we want to loop through the block. So for block in self dot block group and then what we'll do is we'll check if block dot rect dot collide point and then we'll do pygame dot mouse dot get position and then if we collide with this we want to check if we have clicked so if event handler dot clicked and we want to check if it was the left click so it's going to be one and then we will simply do block dot kill and so now what we have to do is simply make a call to this in the update method. So we'll do self.block handling, go to our main, run it and check. So if we click, we are deleting blocks. However, if we move away from here and we click, you'll notice that the blocks that we're breaking are off. And this is because of the how the camera works. So there's no actual camera in um, Pi game. If you remember my um, last tutorial about the camera class, uh, this is how all games work. There's no actual physical camera in your game. Um, this simply using math and calculations to adjust the position relative to the player's position. So since the player is always in the center, we're actually moving everything else uh, relative to the player to make it the illusion of actual movement. The problem is that the mouse doesn't follow those same rules, doesn't get transformed like that. So no matter what, the top left is zero, zero, and the bottom right is screen with screen height. So let's go ahead and apply a transformation to get it to work with this new camera. So for this, I'm gonna create a new method. I'm gonna to go to a player here, and I'm gonna create a new method. I'm gonna call it get adjusted mouse position. And this is going to return a tuple. If I can spell tuple correctly, and this is going to first get the mouse position. So mouse position equals pi game by mouse dot get position, and then we're going to create a new vector two. So player offset equals pi game by math dot vector two, and then for the x we're going to do something very sim um, familiar. So player offset dot x equals the screen width divided by two minus self direct dot center x, and then for the player offset dot y. We'll do the screen height divided by two minus the self dot rect dot center y. And then all we have to do is return the new tuple, which is the mouse po position at zero minus the player offset dot x, and then the mouse position at one minus the player offset at, at um, dot y. And here, instead of calling the uh, mouse pi game dot mouse to get position, we will call the self dot get adjusted mouse position. And if we go to main and run it, Wherever we click, it is in the correct spot. We move all the way over here and we are still clicking in the correct spot. So cool, let's go ahead and add some block placing. And so for this, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of some adjustments. Um, we can't just simply check like if event handler dot clicked at three, then place block because we are going to place a block for every block inside this group. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually um, place it after this loop. So for this, we're going to create some new variables here. Um, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to do placed equals false, collision equals false, and then we're going to create the mouse position, which is going to be equal to self dot get adjusted mouse position. First thing we can do, replace this second call with the mouse position to avoid unnecessary duplicate calls. And then what we'll do here is we will do, um, if we do collide with the point, um, with any point of any block, we'll set the collision equal to true. And then let's go outside of this collide point here and we'll do if event handler dot clicked at three. And then we'll do if not collision, then we'll set place equal to true. 
and then if placed is equal to true so if placed and we are not colliding in the meaning so and not collision then we will create a new um, entity so this will be a new entity and for the groups i've added one new thing to our entity class so in the sprite.py uh, we have this new variable called in groups and i'm simply assigning a variable to the groups that we pass it's a terrible name too i'm sorry about that but basically this is just all the groups that the entity is in and the reason is because we're going to be placing a block so we're just going to take the existing groups that a regular block is in and put them with our new block we will adjust how we're doing this later but this will work for the time being and there's one more thing in the c.py we are now passing the texture dictionary to our player so we can use it when placing blocks and you'll see that in the parameters here self.textures equals the parameters at textures so now with all of that for the um, groups we will do block dot in groups and then for the image we will do self.textures i'll just do grass and then for the position we will do the mouse position so now if we run this we can break blocks and we can place blocks but you'll notice that they're kind of off they look a little bit off here and the reason is because we are not um, forcing it to be within any sort of grid and that's not good because terraria is a voxel game with a grid system um, so we want our blocks to align within this grid so for this we're going to do one more conversion this conversion is going to be a new method here i'm going to put it below the adjusted mouse position one i'm going to call this def get block position and this is going to take in the original mouse position which is going to be of type tuple and then what we'll simply do here is we'll return this really ugly conversion but we first want to do it in int typecast and inside this parentheses we'll do another parentheses and this will be the mouse pause at zero floor divided by the tile size then outside of the parentheses re-multiply by tile size and then do the same thing for the other one so typecast to an int inside the parentheses do another parentheses mouse pause at one floor divided by tile size outside the parentheses uh, multiply re-multiply by tile size and now what we can do here is we will do um instead of this mouse plus here we will do self dot get block position and then send it the mouse position so now if we place it we have an error here um yes we need to set itself my apologies so send itself there we go now if we run it we can place blocks but they are within their grid no matter what and we cannot override existing blocks either which is really awesome so there you go that's the basics of breaking and placing blocks as you can see it works perfectly fine we have this weird block here we can get rid of that um and there you go that's pretty much it so let's just stick a little tunnel here <laughs> um thank you for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like more make sure to like and subscribe if you want um some help, more extra help with this you can leave a comment below or if you want some better more in-depth responses um, you should join my discord link in the description where i'll be responding to comments all day every day so thank you for watching and if you would like to help support me consider um checking out my patreon so thank you guys for watching have a good day see ya